The church should open itself more each time to new media, just as social websites and reporters covering religious information should have a deeper knowledge of the specific identity of the church. This is one of the conclusions that has reached the 300 participants in the seventh professional seminar for church communications offices organized by the Pontifical University of the Holy Cross. We know Jesus, but we must discover how to present Jesus to humanity today and also to understand what humanity has in itself to, I would say, we are longing for God. And they don't know it probably. And so we must rediscover what is in the heart of people and what we can give. Of course, we as a communications of, of the church, we should improve our way to, to trying to, to explain ourselves. But also in the information world, people should try to understand us a little bit better. With the title Identity and Dialogue, communicators from all over the world address the role of the church in the public debate, and some Vaticanistas explain their job and difficulties. Spokespeople from the United States, Slovakia, and Italy also did this. They also analyzed how they should address the crisis of sexual abuse, the communication strategy of the Pope's trips, and the presence of the church in the press or in movies. Part of the role of the communications officer is to help maybe the church at times to understand the urgency, the stridency, the rigor of the demands of media, to understand where that's coming from, to understand also how in many ways there's a desire there to find, it, find the truth. There are Catholic communicators here from around the world, so it's fascinating to hear their perspective on various issues. Um, and at the same time to see that we have much in common. In the general audience, Pope Benedict XVI greeted the participants in the Congress and asked them to continue spreading the Christian hope, work that press offices and reporters multiply through forms of communication.